let's not forget, we had exactly the same issue with the internet, right? At about this time, right, 1997, everyone's like, oh, God, what do we do with this? 150 million people, same number as using crypto right now. This is the Wild West. You know, who's liable for what gets published? How does this work? How do we regulate it? Well, it started with a tough line and it finished with a grand compromise, um, which allowed the industry to flourish. And that's the point about regulation. The moment it's cleared up, the thing will absolutely explode because then it's going to go total full adoption. Um, so we have to go through this. The Internet went through it and, and it will get solved. All assets have leverage. And, you know, it's like it's blamed on hedge funds in the S&P. And it's blamed, you know, there's always somebody to blame it on. And yes, it's because humans love leverage. They cannot help themselves. They just want to have more of something. And so, yes, Asian leverage at like 10x or 20x leverage causes price spikes. And it's just a feature of the market. Now, we've seen leverage coming down. You know, the 100x products are all kind of starting to reduce down to 10x. What's beautiful about leverage in the crypto market versus the futures market is if you go in the futures market and you get leverage, you get a margin call. And if the, if the market's then down again the next day, you know, your margin still goes up and you've got to deliver that margin and there's settlement time and you can get yourself in a world of pain. Uh, you know, if you're trading agricultural commodities, they can go limit down for a week and you're trying to pay margin all the time and you can bankrupt yourself easily. Crypto is beautiful because it's fully collateralized. So the moment it hits the, the, the margin limit, it's liquidated. That's why it's volatile. That volatility is a key feature that makes crypto as a market so robust because you can't have a situation where somebody can't meet their margin call because there are no margin calls because it's instant liquidation. So you're trading off the big risk for these smaller risks. Yes, and you know leverage can build up in a bull market so the, the, the risk can be bigger, but over time, you, you you don't have the institution going under side of the issue, or you know, big investment house going under. It's it's not a feature of the space within retail. Obviously, we'll screw that all up because the hedge funds will take too much leverage, and somebody else will. You know, that's humans. We just always abuse leverage. I just had my global macro investor roundtable, and um, normally we would have spent a long time talking about currency markets stuff like that. We kind of flicked over all of that. Everybody is more interested in the in the crypto side of things, which I've been talking about for a while. Crypto and macro have merged. That's what Skybridge is telling you. That's what Global Macro Investor tells us. It's merged. And it's not from speculative activity like, you know, the price is going up, so we're all interested. I mean, everybody's building businesses. Um, so, you know, it's fascinating. It's, it's a really, really big movement. And, you know, and this has been my thesis for some time. And I pointed it out back in March 2020. It's like these worlds have cl collided. You're just about to find out about it. And now everybody can see. And, you know, my guess is my guess is the ETF comes off in the next month or two. That'll be another wave of adoption. And before you know it, it's a fully financialized product. I, it's part of the offering of, of all of the investment banks, the asset management firms, everybody. That's all to come. Well, I've talked about this at length is... There's a whole group who are very smart that say, listen, I'm actually just interested in the monetary aspects of Bitcoin, and that's what I want to focus on. Absolutely fine. There's a bunch that say, listen, I've looked at this, and I think that Bitcoin is going to end up being entirely dominant um, because of this monetary aspect and the security of the network. And that's fine, but they have to see that there is a probability that something else could. Um, and then there's a bunch of people who just don't want to hear and that, those are the people who tend to be driven to protect tribally their network. Because if it's network adoption, then they need to protect their network at all costs. Well, kind of Ethereans and others tend to be more aware of the broader network itself, of all of this being part of a larger network, and that the rising tide lifts all boats. And my point of view has always been, I think the market cap goes from 2 trillion to 200 trillion in the next 10 years. And mm. there's plenty of room for everybody. Nobody's eating anybody's pie here. All the pies are going to grow. So, you know, as Solana grows, it's only helping the Ethereum ecosystem grow. And it's only going to help Bitcoin grow because more people come into the space. The pie is growing. It's all going up in value over time. For me, I nothing is going to change versus the macro backdrop of network adoption. So, we're at the point in the cycle where network adoption is very strong. I don't see a change in that. 
So really, it's where are we and when does this correction finish, which I think finishes in the next two or three days, if my work is right. And then if I'm right, we should start to see accelerated moves. So that's what I'm looking for, a something to confirm my thesis. Um, and my th thesis is based that October, November, December are ridiculous. Um, so I use a lot of charts for that. Start to look at you know how some of the, the other protocols and tokens are performing versus Ethereum and Bitcoin, because we should see a further out on the risk curve still. So we should see you know over time that um, that Ether Bitcoin cross. I think that's uh, got almost up to the 0 0.08. It came down again. Where is it now? Um, 0 0.07. I think once it goes through 0 0.08. That'll be the that'll be the signal for the next phase in this whole crypto market, which is usually the rewarding phase. But it's just a thesis, and it could change. So I don't know. But you know, I'm not changing or doing anything. You know, I added I added the dip last week earlier earlier this week, and I have no cash left to put in the market. So that's it. <laughs> Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. What to do in such a situation? Inform yourself and keep your financial education strong. We from the Compact Group offer our loyal subscribers a free educational portal with firsthand monetary, financial, and economic knowledge. Enter our invite-only Insider Club by clicking the link below you will get access to first-class information far earlier than the rest. We have prepared a special deal for all our members where you can access a giant pool of Robert Kiyosaki's financial wisdom for just $1. To find out more, simply click the link below and join our Insider Club absolutely free. But there is more you can and should do. Build up several streams of income. More and more people realize that they have to take their future in their own hands, but they don't know how and where to start. We from Compact offer our Insider Club members unique opportunities. Strengthen your financial muscle and get the edge. Click the link below. Become part of our free Insider Club. No financial obligations. But there's one important thing you have to know. You have to become active. So do it now. Become active and see you on the other side.